Welcome to Productronica 2017, the world's leading trade fair for electronics manufacturing and development. I'm taking a look around for you. I'll roll up my sleeves and take you along with me. It's a fixed item at Productronica, and it's called the Hand Soldering Competition. It's totally international, of course. IPC is the organizer of the European Regional Competition, and on Friday the Hand Soldering World Championship is going to be held here. Well, since I'm here, I certainly plan to do some soldering myself, too. So it's not that easy to become European champion. Mr. Valin from IPC, do people still solder by hand? Yeah, yeah, feed, feed. Yes, yes, frequently. And the reason is that the machine can make a mistake. It can't repair itself or improve itself either. On Friday, the World Championship will be held here. Components are getting smaller all the time. What's the biggest challenge during hand soldering? Well, it's miniaturization, the tiny components. We have the smallest components, O2, O1. That's so small that you can't see it. So humans are still needed. Mr. Valin, thank you very much. I certainly won't be taking part in the World Championship, but I'll keep on practicing anyhow. We also have courses for beginners. <laughs> very good. <laughs> What do yogurts and mobile phones have to do with a clean room? Quite a lot, actually. Many industries are interested in production inside clean rooms. And what's the correct way to behave if you're inside a clean room? What's the proper way to get dressed and the right way to wash your hands? We'll see all the answers now in a virtual reality training course. Now the bonnet. Out of the virtual world and back into real clothes. With me now is Mr. Tam from mycleanroom.de. Mr. Tam, a virtual reality training course in the clean room. Why? In the semiconductor industry, components are getting smaller all the time. Due to miniaturization, not only particles, but also molecular contamination are posing an increasing threat to device performance. More and more clean rooms are being built around the world, and employees from a whole host of countries will be working in them, and won't necessarily be communicating in German and English. Until now, these people have been trained in a real environment inside a clean room or an airlock. And with this virtual reality module, we're trying to get the people out of the airlock and into a neutral environment. And the whole thing is great fun as well. Thanks very much, Mr. Tam. Okay, that's it for today from Productronica. See you again soon.